Hello viewers, welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. Here we will learn about different concepts related to civil engineering. Time to enter the world of civil engineering. In today's video we are going to discuss about Part 2, Construction Method and Equipments, Question and Answers. One write short notes on drag lines. Cranes are machines designed to move materials vertically, rise by rope pulley operation, or horizontally. The range of cranes available is very wide, from gear wheel to a complex tower crane. Therefore, choice must be based on the loads to be lifted. Height of lifting. Horizontal distance to be covered. Time period of lifting operations. Utilization factors and. Degree of mobility required. To what is the power shovel? It is used to excavate the earth of all classed and loaded into wagons. They are mounted on crawler tracks. It consists of a mountain, cab, boon, dipper, strip, hoist line. 3. What is a clamshell? Clamshell is a machine having most of the characteristics of drag line and crane in common. Digging is done like a drag line and once the bucket is filled, it works like a crane. It is very useful for accurate spot dumping of material in a confined space in a vertical plane. It can be used for handling of loose or soft and medium hard materials only. For what are the parameters to be examined while blasting for quarrying? While blasting for quarrying or excavation, the following parameters are to be examined. Spacing of the drill holes Diameter of the drill holes Depth of the drill holes Burden of the rock at the toe Burden of the rock at the crest Degree of fragmentation desired and Strength of the explosives to be used 5. Define dredging what are the types of dredgers? It is the process of excavating from river bed, lake, or sea for the purpose of deepening them. It is an important operation in navigation canals, harbors, dams etc. Types of dredgers Dipper dredger Ladder dredger Suction dredger 6. What is line system? This system is employed when excavation area is long. The header is laid out along the sides of the excavation, and the pumping is continuously in progress in one length as further points are jetted ahead of the pumped down section and pulled up from the completed and back filled lengths and repeated till entire length is completed. For narrow excavation, like trenches, header is laid only on one laid, while for wide excavations, the header are required to be placed on both sides of the area. 7. Define blasting 
Blasting is the process of discharging of an explosive to loosen the rock. 8. What is ring system? When excavation is done in area of appreciable width, line system is inadequate. The ring system is used in such condition and the header main surrounds the excavations completely. This system is used for rectangular excavations such as for piers or basements. 9. Where is grout anchors used in constructions? In most cases, however anchorages may be embedded below ground level, with backstays connecting them to adjacent towers, or they may constitute the end abutments of the end spans. In addition to stability sliding, the anchorage structure must also be checked for stability against tilting and overturning. Define texture. What are their classifications? Texture is defined as the grain size of the rock. It is classified into five categories such as Porous rock Loose-grained rock Granitoid rock Fine-grained rock Dense rock Define pile foundation A pile is a slender column made of wood, concrete, or steel. A pile is either driven into the soil or formed in situ by excavating a hole and then filling it with concrete. A group of piles are driven to the required depth and are capped with RCC slab, over which superstructure is built. The pile transfer the load to soil by friction or by direct bearing. In the latter case, piles being taken up to hard strata. This type of foundations is used when topsoil is not capable of taking the load of the structure even at 3-4 m depth. Write the situations under which pile foundation is recommended. When spread footing, raft, and grillage foundations are uneconomical. When heavy concentrated loads are to be transmitted by the foundation. Where there is scouring in the soil near the foundations. Where the soil is made up and of a compressible nature. Give the different types of piling. Rotary board technique Continuous flight auger piling Low headroom continuous auger pile Cased flight auger piling What is the equipment used for driving opera cast pile in a sandy soil? The equipment used for driving a precast pile in a sandy soil is a hammer. Hence maximum stresses are developed at the top due to direct strokes and at the point in overcoming the resistance to penetration. Therefore additional reinforcement is provided. Define well foundation. Well foundation is a type of deep foundation which is generally provided below the water level for bridges. Well foundation is a box of timber, metal, reinforced concrete, or masonry which opens both at the top and bottom, and is used for building and bridge foundations. Well foundations are being used in India from very early days. 
Taj Mahal was built on such foundations. What are the types of well foundation? Types of well foundation Open case on Single wall open case on Cylindrical open case on Open case on with dredging wells Box case on Pneumatic case on what is well cap? It is a RCC slab laid at the top of the well steining. It transfers the load to the steining. What are the components of well foundation? The components of well foundations are Well curb Cutting edge Steining What is a Kent ledge? In well sinking, to overcome the increased skin friction and the in weight of the well due to buoyancy, additional loading is applied on the wall. It is called Kent ledge. What is Cofferdam? Cofferdams are temporary or permanent structure which is constructed so as to remove water soil from an area and make it possible to carry on the construction work under reasonably dry conditions. These are constructed by driving sheet piles in the form of cells which are filled with granular materials and become self-stabilizing retaining structures. What are the factors you will consider while selecting cofferdams? The area to be protected by a cofferdam. The depth of coater to be dealt with shallow depth or deep depth. The possibility of overtopping by floods, tides, etc. The nature of bed on which the cofferdam is to test, i.e., previous layer or an impervious layer. What are the uses of cofferdam? To facilitate pile driving operations. To place grillage and raft foundations. To construct foundations for piers and abutments of bridges, dams, locks, etc. Define shoring. Shoring is the construction of a temporary structure to support temporarily an unsafe structure. These support walls laterally. What are the types of shoring? Depending upon their supporting characteristics the shores are classified into three categories. Racking or inclined shores. Flying or horizontal shores. Dead or vertical shores. Why is shoring provided in foundation? When a wall cracks due to unequal settlement of foundation and the cracked wall needs repair. So, shoring is provided in foundation. Under what circumstances shoring is provided? When walls bulge out. When walls crack due to unequal settlement of foundation and repairs are to be carried out to the cracked wall. When an adjacent structure needs pulling down. When openings are to be newly made or enlarged in a wall. Define whales. 
The depth of sheeting is held in position by means of horizontal beams called whales. Define rakes. If the excavation is too wide, the whales may be supported by inclined struts known as rakes. Define struts. Strut is a compression member to provide temporary support to in situ retaining walls in deep excavations. It is mostly a steel beam of various sections or a pipe. Reinforced concrete beams are seldom used. Define underpinning. What are the types of underpinning? The process of placing a new foundation under an existing one or strengthening an existing foundation is called underpinning. Following are the types of underpinning. Pit method Pile method Chemical method Other methods Define diaphragm wall. When is diaphragm wall used? Diaphragm wall are structure elements, which are constructed underground to prevent the seepage into the excavated area. It is used when a diaphragm wall is basically a deep trench excavated in soil into which reinforced concrete is placed. Diaphragm walls are used in permanent and temporary foundation walls for deep basements in earth retention schemes for highway and tunnel projects, as permanent walls for deep shafts for tunnel access and as permanent cut-off walls through the care of earth dams. Define RCC Diaphragm Wall Diaphragm wall is generally reinforced concrete wall constructed in the ground using under slurry technique which was developed in Europe. The technique involves excavating an arrow trench that is kept full of an engineered fluid of slurry. Walls of thickness between 300 and 1200 mm can be formed in this way up to depths of 45 meters. What are the various methods adopted to construct a diaphragm wall? Slurry trench technique Soil mixing method RC continuous diaphragm wall Precast diaphragm wall Glass diaphragm wall Give the uses or applications of diaphragm wall Commonly used in congested areas. Can be installed in close proximity to existing structure. Practically suited for deep basements. Used in conjunction with top-down construction technique. Define scaffolding. These are temporary erections constructed to support a number of platforms at different heights raised for the convenience of workers so as to enable them to work easily and raise the needed materials. Give the materials used for formwork. Formwork can be made out of timber, plywood, steel, Precast concrete, fiber glass, used separately or combination. When the removable of formwork are done. 
The form should be removed until the concrete has hardened sufficiently and they may be left in place for as possible up to maximum days of 28 in normal weather conditions. A hard metallic sound indicates the concrete has hardened sufficiently for safe removal of formwork. State briefly the essential requirements of formwork. It should be strong enough to withstand all loads coming on it, such a dead load of concrete and live load during its pouring, compaction and curing. It should be stiff enough so that deflection is minimum. It should be as be light as possible. This formwork should rest on non-yielding supports. Define centering and shuttering. Part of the formwork which supports the horizontal surface is called centering for example slab bottom, beam bottom etc. Part of the formwork which supports the vertical surface is called shuttering for example column sides, beam sides, slab side, wall side etc. Define rigging. Rigging is the apparatus through which the force of the wind is used to propel sailboats and sailing ships forward. This includes masts, yards, sails, and cordage. Define hoisting. A hoist is a device used for lifting or lowering a load by means of a drum or a lift wheel around which rope or chain wraps. It may be manually operated, electrically or pneumatically driven and may use chain, fiber, or wire rope as its lifting medium. The load is attached to the hoist by means of a lifting hook. There are three types of hoist namely Wire rope or chain hoist Construction hoist Mine hoist Define plastering The process of covering the surfaces of masonry, beam, or column with mortar is called plastering. Mortar is a substance obtained by mixing sand, a binding material, cement lime, and water in definite proportions. Define aggregate crushers and screening equipment. Screening is the separation of material into two six different sized products. The material is separated by passing it through a vibrating screen box which a number of different has sized screens, or meshes, which the material falls through like a sieve. The material falls onto attached conveyors which stockpiles the end products. The end products can then be used in the building and construction industries. Define flooring. What are the types of flooring? Flooring is the horizontal area in any floor of a building that is actually the space used by the occupants for moving in the building. Types of flooring. Mud flooring Cement concrete flooring Terrazzo flooring Mosaic flooring Glazed tile flooring Marble flooring Linoleum flooring Brick flooring 
Stone flooring Granolithic flooring Timber flooring Asphalt flooring Rubber flooring Epoxy resin flooring Define aggregate feeders Aggregate feed bins are used for each of the size of the aggregate and sand, and control their quality. Weighting system is used for important jobs, since control by volume is not perfect as it varies due to closeness of packing of the material. The aggregate fed bins are loaded by any of the following methods. By shovels directly into the bins. By lorries tipping directly into the bins. Aggregate are stored in bulkhead at ground level. Define batching. What are the methods of equipment are used by volume batching? The measurement of materials for making concrete is known as batching. There are two methods of batching. Volume batching. Weight batching. The methods of equipment are used by volume batching. Aggregate feeders. Cement silo. Water measuring device and Mixing unit Define mixing After measuring the materials required for preparing the concrete it has to be mixed well before placing the concrete. It should ensure that the mass becomes homogeneous and uniform. There are two methods of mixing. Hand mixing. Machine mixing. What is meant by transit mixer? Transit mixer is a piece of equipment that is used for transporting concrete, mortar or ready mix material from a concrete batching plant directly to the site where it is to be utilized. Transit mixer is loaded with dry material and water. The interior of the transit drum is fitted with aspiral blade. What are the types of conveyors? Belt conveyors Roller conveyors Chain conveyors Pipe conveyors Elevating conveyor What are the advantages of using belt conveyors? Its suitable levels eliminate a good deal of lifting and lowering of material. It require no stopping or standing but is continuous operation. Transportation is affected by friction between material being transported and the belt. It largely saves labor cost. No noise. Carry the material horizontal, vertical, inclined. It can withstand 1600 C. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.